vous parler de l'économie circulaire dans I'm going to tell you about the circular economy in developing economies with bibliographical references or tools that are available on the web to see what is going on abroad. First of all, about circular economy. In emerging economies, a number of articles identify the challenges in implementing these circular economies. Here are two references that show how emerging countries can benefit from the circular economy. Remember that in France and in the UK, at a time of industrialization, secondary raw materials were used much more, uh, namely recycled materials to fuel the industrialization process. And the industrialization process that is underway in other countries also has the potential to draw much more from the circular economy. More globally, there are many countries across the globe which are implementing public policies or private citizen initiatives to implement concrete actions in the field of the circular economy. This is a map published by the uh, British think tank Chatham House that lists a number of uh, public initiatives in the field of the circular economy. You will note, if you're looking for France there, which was at the time of the map in discussion, or chapter 4 of the French law of uh, the energy transition, France is only visible here uh, through the city of Paris, at the top of the map here, and its uh, roadmap about the circular economy. What you can see elsewhere is that a large number of initiatives across every continent are visible in the field of the circular economy. There are initiatives in Laos, in Japan, but also in Uruguay, Colombia, and across the African continent. Which brings us to promote conversations, dialogues about the initiatives in France in order to provide them as uh, positive experiences of the circular economy, but also encourages us to look at what is being done, what is available elsewhere. In order to implement this dialogue and co cooperation, the UN Organization for Industrial Development, which is one of the uh, branches of the UN, has created the Resource Efficient and Cleaner Production Network. What does the network do? It consists in addressing Objective 12, Goal 12 of the SDGs about responsible production and consumption. The network aims to create more responsible networks across the world. Centers supported by this uh, UN organization are present around the world, and here is a map that you will find on the internet. You can see that if you click on one of them, if you click on the one for Kenya, for example, you will see initiatives for the circular economy, the more efficient use of resources. This is an example of a project driven by the Kenya Cleaner Production Center in a partnership with uh, Uganda and uh, ultimately with Rwanda and Burundi. The project aims to mutualize the resources around Lake Victoria, and you will see on this web page an initial description, a number of contacts if you're interested, or if you are there, to participate and contribute to the project. This is just one small example of the actions that are being implemented. There are a great number within this resource network. So this resource network is a network of persons, of individuals, supported by the UN, but it's also a knowledge sharing center. And this knowledge sharing center is available free of charge on the web. It provides more than 12 volumes, toolboxes about all of the issues of the circular economy, such as eco-design, with examples, exercises, slideshows, notes, or manuals. 
All of this is accessible in English and Spanish. If you find it difficult to read either language, you can use online translation tools. All of this free of charge. You will find the link here uh, in the bottom of the slide towards these resources. So what else can be found in this knowledge management system? This is the list of uh, topics, and you can see here Circular Economy with four resources at the bottom of the list to date. And if you click Circular Economy, you will find a report that does not had much coverage in France about resource productivity published by the World Resources Forum, on which today gives uh, very many examples that we're not used to hear about in France about the circular economy, but also a number of guidelines that could potentially be implemented in France or also in other uh, political or geographical environments. These are resources that are both human and knowledge resources that will allow you to get a different point of view about the circular economy.